looking very good. Yes, oh. Ambassador is like, we have our Nigerian leader. Mr. Bello, please, can you show your face? Today is Operation Show Your Face Day. Operation yes, Show Your Face Day. Operation Show Your Face Day. Yes, so. Okay, we have uh, our Nigerian leader. Um, Ambassador? Yes, ma'am. We can't see your face again. No? Be on camera. I know, neighbor. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see your face. <laughs> I see Madam Chica. Please, yes, if you're so... in this room, make sure you join with your face. Otherwise, we will throw you out. <laughs> From here, I am talking because of Madam Scholar. Madam Scholar, I will soon throw you out now. Show your face, Mr. Eric. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. We are complete. Yeah, this is it. All right, Madam Chica, beautiful woman, welcome. Mr. Bello, the great Nigerian leader, show your face. Uh, our vice president. Show your face. Correct. Hey, Mr. Bello. Our able, <laughs> our able chop our, that the chop our operating money, eh? Just the chop our alone. <laughs> and I, yo, today you must tell people that you're making this money now. <laughs> 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 you know, you With immediate effect, I don't want to waste time. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, we are live. Uh, we are still expecting one or two people, but then we can start. It's just a one hour talk show. We want to talk about our cooperative and what we stand okay. for. Yes. Yes. Our cooperative and what we stand Where is uh, Ambassador? Okay. I think it's uh, all right. I think, um, Madam Scholar, please, can you show your face? Please show your face. Show your face. Madam Scholar, you need to show your face, please, because we'll soon start with you. All right, today's uh, talk show is uh, about our cooperative. We are a multi purpose cooperative. When we talk about cooperative, yes. um, Ambassador, Ambassador is our Nigerian assistant leader. So we, we, we have to uh, welcome him officially. Most of you don't know him. Today he's joining us live. He's an ambassador of peace. So we want to we will, ah his his network is is really disturbing. But I, I think he will come around. So today I want to talk about um, some of the things our members do not know, you know, about us. First of all, we want to start by letting our viewers um, know that this is a special team. We are a squad, you know? We are creating our own economy. And if you, if you look at our faces, you know that, yes, our economy is coming up, it's showing on our yeah. faces, everyone is. That's why I want to see everybody's face. Let them see us and know that indeed we are creating our own economy and it's really working for us. We start by asking, what is a cooperative? Can somebody just tell us? Because when you say, okay, let's start with what is, a, what is a cooperative? I wanted Ambassador to, to tell us what a cooperative is. But uh, since his network is disturbing, let's, uh, I think we should hear from it's Madam Scholar. Madam Scholar, you will not speak until your face is showing. Madam Miranda, please, can you show us your face? We want to see your face. Mr. Bill, please don't hide your face. Let's see your face. You know. I'm on transit. Oh, good evening, everyone. I'm on transit. From Canada to where? From Canada to <laughs> huh? From Canada to where? <laughs> From Canada to UK. Let's see you uh, in, in the plane now. So that <laughs> very okay, you are indeed on transit from Canada to UK. All right, no problem. 
Okay, so I want us to talk about our cooperative. First of all, okay, let me start from myself. You know, I honestly didn't know what cooperative is all about until my um, when I uh, went to high school in University of Calabar. You know, my first year um, in the University of Calabar. Uh, um, I was to wait for one year before I start my main course, you know. So while I was waiting, my academic advisor uh, advised me that I should just go and do a cooperative course. It's just one year. They call it uh, cooperative and community development, you know. I reluctantly went in for that course for one year before I did my main course in University of Calabar, you know? and it was my, it was during this one year course that I got to know that, you know, you can actually um, build your own economy by selecting a few people to cooperate with you. So first of all, you know, I want to really give us a Google definition of what uh, cooperative is all about. Our ambassador is here. Okay, if you search on Google, you will see that uh, a Google definition of cooperative is an association of persons, in bracket organization, that is, that is owned and controlled by the people to meet their common economic, social, and or cultural needs and aspirations through a jointly owned and democratically controlled business. Now, you, you heard that yourself. So when we say we are building our own economy, you know, indeed, we are building our own economy. So um, we, want, we, want, we also want uh, the ambassador to throw more light on what a corporate, remember, we just define what a corporate, cooperative is all about. And ours is a multi-purpose cooperative society. So we'll come back to what a multi-purpose cooperative society is all about. So Ambassador Dr. Larry, over to you now. I wanted to throw more light on what cooperative is all about. You are muted. Can you unmute yourself? All right. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you, sir. Okay. Cooperative, as the name goes, is practically, I'm going to talk in more or less in a practical form now, not in terms of definition. Yeah. I'm going to talk well. about how cooperative is all is being defined as in, in practical terms. Basically, cooperative is the act of a thousands of people or one or two people coming together in order to put their strength together to achieve a common objective. Particularly, it is the, uh, a saving strategy that the Western part of Nigeria used to eventually send people like my father and myself to school today. Basically, cooperative is one of the most ardent organization in the world today. And uh, we have not been actually taking it very serious, serious as it should be in Nigeria. But people like me and uh, people like all other people who have find it necessary, like Victoria Flourish right now, have been able to propagate that cooperative can actually solve the societal problems in terms of poverty elevation, uh, in terms of uh, uh, trying to disseminate information, whether in terms of uh, social responsibility and all what have you. And this, of course, we cannot do it all alone. You cannot do it all alone. Cooperative coming together is the act of cooperation of people putting their strength together. That is, you do a sort analysis of yourself as a person and you do a sort analysis of yourself as an organization and you bring the group of people 
who are having a similar objective for them to come together and address that objective. Perhaps it could be poverty, which of course, like Pretoria Flourish is trying to do now. And you also find out that a lot of societal menace in terms of poverty is going on in the Nigeria, all over Africa, in the world. And they are trying to come together to see how they can address this issue. And they tag this kind of project, building our economy. So that is to say, if the economy is properly built, then everybody problems, everybody challenges issue, uh, social amenities will be addressed. And this, of course, is what they are trying to do right now. And that is what cooperative is all about. Now, if I may add to it, we are all coming together here right now. She has been shopping for different kind of people that will help achieve this vision. And we all are building and keying into the vision by trying to operate together using our various strengths to address the objective that is being set by Victoria Flourish. And that is what cooperative is all about in a practical terms. Now, if I may quickly add, Victoria Flourish is not just an ordinary cooperative, it's a multi-purpose cooperative. Now you'll find out that in terms of the multi-purpose aspect of Victoria Flourish, they are addressing so many societal issues, not just trying to give people money, trying to address charity, humanitarian services, I try to talk about investment, teaching people about investment, teaching people about how to be credit worthy. All of these are some of the things that they are putting together as a multi-purpose organization. Apart from that, I want to let everybody know that cooperative is more or less like an international organization that is limited by shares. So you are not just going to be just an ordinary member just because I want to just come and borrow money. You can operate like a common conglomerate of organization coming together. You can buy and sell. You can invest in properties. You can do all kinds of supplies. You can be a general merchant. And all of this is what the multipurpose is actually talking about in Victoria Flourish. So, but if we take a look at it right now, Victoria Flourish is also is just trying to see how they can address the issue of poverty as a first instance, which of course, after this, and after building the economy and the economy is stable, then we can start going into investment. We can start buying houses, buying properties and establishing estates. We can start talking about marine, getting our own vessel to start exporting and importing oil and gases. We can start talking about building a skyscraper in uh, South Africa, all over the world, and wherever we want to invest. And I this, of course, is what plan. the dream is about. Yes. So this, of course, then you can also own your own house at a piece without sweating. You don't need to go and start saving under the carpet, under the box, inside the rat, inside here and there. You can just come to Victoria Flourish and key into them, and they will talk about how to give you houses, or you want to travel abroad, your children are troubling you, you can come to Victoria Flourish. They help you organize how you're going to travel, logistics, and put all of those things in place at a very cheap rate without sweating at all. And I think this is what Victoria Flourish is trying to do as a multi-purpose organization. And I think I give it to them for this, which of course has been my observation since I joined Victoria Flourish. Wow. Thank you. Wonderful. In fact, um, um, Ambassador has, you know, he has just talked about the multipurpose. There is no need going into that anymore. We just want uh, Mr. Bello to throw more light on how our cooperative works. You know, he talks about coming in and joining at this. You'll be able to, Mr. Bello, after all, completed his building through the cooperative. So this is an opportunity for him. <laughs> Yes, yes. That's a nice one. That's yeah, a nice yeah, yeah. one. So, Mr. Bello, <laughs> over to you. Let's let talk, tell people how they can join this uh, cooperative. 
Yeah, uh, Madam, Madam Miranda said it's Victorious Flourish Cooperative. Victorious Flourish. Uh, so, okay, it's nothing. Mr. Bello. Thank you very much, my able and well able Chief Admin Officer, Madam Flourish Victoria. Madam Victoria Flourish. <laughs> I want to thank uh, my Ibu ambassador. He has said it all about the formation and what this corporate is all about. And if we should look at it from the word corporate, it is co operation in relative that people come together, relative or any other person coming together in achieving one common goal. And that's what I brought up. Once we believe in one another, that we can very cooperative. If you don't know how it works, you won't get anything out of this. You just have to master the, uh, the module of plan B of flourish cooperative. The moment of it, forget it. You can't get anything out of it. It's garbage mm. in, garbage out. You get that goes it. But if you follow it, I got to know about the nitty-gritty of a flourish corporation when it was in Ujama, it was still in Jama, you know, and to see the concept, you know, for thank God from Ujama to corporate to flourish corporate, the moment you come in and you are able to come in with your two and you don't encourage your two and follow them all to bring their two, for their two to bring their there are two to eight for you to receive. You are not. You are going nowhere. It's not imagine. You know, I've, I, I, I. When I joined, it took me time, a lot of time before I fully integrated into the system, because I really want to know how it works. How can I bring five hundred dollars and earn eight hundred uh, four thousand dollars? How is it possible? Especially when they talk about dollar. I use dollar a lot, and I know what it means to exchange one dollar to Naira. And if I'm going to take four thousand dollars, I know it's a lot of a lot of money with just five hundred dollars to earn four thousand dollars. I really want to know how this thing works. So I sat down, I watched with keen interest, and I had the understanding. Oh, is this is that okay? No problem. And by the grace of God, I was able to and do all I needed to do. That needs to be done. Go in my follow their two up, and like that, everybody came in and I earned my first 1.8 million naira, and the other person to end, and that was it. So, I'm in my house, that Madam Paul just said, yes, it was through the cooperative I was able to finish that house, but I really. Because I really want to you know, and they are still advocating about forest property. I do as it were, you know, if it works, it works. If it don't work, it doesn't work. Nobody works for anybody, you work to any forest property. The moment Working the cross of the cross of the as the staff of the club. There's so much in you, and it is the people that is the motor behind the cross of the We are the ones that need to prepare the cross of the to make it to make us end and take us to that community we are talking about. And the more we 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 kind of advertise and let people know about this cooperative. That is telling people about it, letting people know how it works. And we are sincere about the honest the sky is the sky be sky will be sky will not even be our limit. Because once there is no well, once we are sincere about it and there is no any hanky panky, we are we we have the interest of our co people that we are bringing to the yeah. system for them to pay. As it were, Mr. Bello, you have two more end. minutes. Two the minutes. Moment you are two yes. minutes more. The moment 
Okay, it's even too much, man. The okay. moment you the moment <laughs> you bring in your people and you have your, you have their you have their their love as hard for them to earn and to enjoy, not for you bringing them in in order for you to to. Yeah, it's network. Kind of, you change them. Sorry, you know, it's really, and they get what you call them for. Honestly, they will not come back. Most of the All people right. I brought in, they are still there. Sad. They are still there. And I know to do it, God will help us. We know, I know God has been the one behind corporate property for this while. And God is still behind us. And he's still taking us to that place called there. And by the grace of God, we all get there in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, ma, and God bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Okay, now our next uh, question, we will pose it to our young barrister here, young barrister, Eric. Now we say we want our cooperative to last for generations. Mr. Eric, maybe you should tell us because, you know, in the past you've had so many businesses you have done online all came and crashed you know and we are here telling people that we are here to stay for generations and you've been into this cooperative for of course almost one year now I want you to tell us how do you think this uh, cooperative will fulfill what it says you know staying for generations what do you think uh, how do you think it will happen? Just give us your opinion. Okay, all right. Um, yeah. First of all, I want to thank you for organizing this, you know, very glorious meeting. I greet and salute all the, you know, people in the house. I want to salute Ambassador, and I want to salute yourself, you know, the president and uh, the vice president. I, and I also want to acknowledge my leader here in Ghana, Mr. Raza and everybody who has been with us. Um, we speak of um, BFC MSL, you know, as a generational, you know, cooperative in the sense that we believe and um, as we are in, we, we, are, we have done a lot of uh, businesses online and uh, we've seen that it doesn't really last. It only takes, you know, the, the, the longest maybe one per, a, a, a person may take in a business online, you know, as this is more like, let's say, six months. But um, we've been here for almost, you know, close to a year and then we are still going. And um, talking about each seven generation, you know, vision that we are having is, for, it all boils down to the, you know, the hard work of those who come in. You know, the seven generation and the gifts that we keep, you know, like propagating about doesn't just come on a silver platter. But, you know, like Mr. Bello rightly said, if you bring your two and you also don't encourage them to bring their two, you are just, you know, not going to expect anything. But as, it, as we keep working hard and then we keep pushing more, you know, more strength into the whole thing, you will see that the, the, the cooperative will blossom and it will flourish, just like leave that um, the seven generation target that we are living uh, is even something short, like it's like a, a myopic vision because we should have a vision that will not to be like an everlasting thing because we believe that whatever that God does is like everlasting. But we've seen a seven generation now, you know, living it, it's like from our human perspective. And um, that I see, I, I see it beyond the seventh generation, but we, it's, it's even good that we have something for a generation because things don't normally last. Things that men do always have this you know, uh, in, impediment of not lasting long. It's only you know, some, some few companies that started some hundred years ago that are still in existence. But I see this beyond that, you know, and I see this like, uh, I see, BFC MSL, like a borehole that has been dug so deep that we can always draw water from, from, uh, from it for, for years to come. And um, uh, the seventh generation target is really, um, to me, uh, personally, it is an achievable target. 
And I, I believe that we will even cross the seventh generation and then move on to higher heights and, and on to higher pedestals that we never you know, thought of, you know, like imagine. So in a nutshell, it, it all boils down to hard work. You know, it doesn't just come on a silver platter. And I believe that we have all the able leaders with the ambassador joining his, you know, his strength to ours. You know, we, we've done a lot of work, you know, down here in Ghana. And um, we believe uh, as we all join most then Israel prevailed. So it's it's in it's, I'm saying this to you know like push the fact that if we all join hands to help Madame Flourish, you know, with this she has the vision and then we can also you know, join hands to push her to hold her hands so that this vision of seven generation will be achieved and then we will get it and cross it and even get into 10th generation and also up to the 20th and 30th and still counting. Thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> you have a great vision. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Madam Chica, we are coming to you right now. You know, when you heard the latest compensation plan, you were like, wow. You know, so we want you to tell us, just tell the people there the compensation plan, just the gifting plan, you understand? You know, because when you introduce, like so, um, Mr. Bello says, you come in with your two, you make sure your two, you know, they would think is the old system. They wouldn't know that, no, this is not a pyramid. This is not what you used to know. You know, this is a new system altogether. You need to join us to find out how it works. We have terminologies like flower, water, earth, earth, fire, and all that. So you need to come and test um, what we have here. So, Madam Chica, can you tell us about our comp plan, how it, it really works, and how we move from one level to the other and how we come back you know to make sure that we are not doing pyramids just talk to us madam chica don't tell us your network want to throw you out no <laughs> it shouldn't it shouldn't throw me out at this point in time <laughs> all right <laughs> it's a critical period <laughs> okay Yes, this is uh, Madam Chica speaking, and um, the compensation plan for me here yeah, is uh, is something to reckon with. Something when I say something to reckon with, I I it's something that we are going to hand over to our generation now, our children and others. First of all, as we said, hello, are you with me? Yeah, we are with you. Are we together? Yes. Oh, Go beautiful. On. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. First of all, we have our, our different levels as we come in from the silver to the gold to the diamond level. You know, before we used to have the, the bronze level, but um, now we have moved and we are moving higher. As I said, we come in with the $100 package. That is the $100 package when you come in you get your two. It's not a pyramid because every um, cooperative, every business, not only cooperative, every business needs people to grow. Yeah. They need people to grow. And without people, business will not thrive. And mm -hmm. I, I'm surprised when people say, I cannot tell somebody about this. I cannot. It gets me all worked up because we go to our salon to make our hair day in, day out. We ladies, when we finish making our hair, we go and tell people, oh, I made my hair there. You have brought in someone for that business. That's the way to get people into business. So no business tries without people. So as I said, we come in at our $100 package. We get our two on board by telling them how sweet this cooperative is about. Our two comes in and gifts their own $100 to whoever, because our system is automated. Our system is not manual, it's automated. And that is why it is sweet because it cannot be manipulated. You know, so when you come on board, you get your two, your two get their two. They also gift to whoever the system prompts them to gift. Then when it gets to your turn, that is when you get to your own stage, your third level. 
of receiving your gifts. You receive your own gifts. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say the total sum or yes. I should just... Um, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, I should go ahead and say the whole the mm. total sum. Mm. Okay, so when you come on board, you gift your own package, your two get, they gift their own. Those under you two, they come on board and they gift their own package. From there, you are going to receive a total sum of $800. That is at your own $100 stage. Eight hundred because eight persons are going to gift to you and you move to the next cadre, which is the gold level. The gold level is the $500 package. You use from the $800 which you receive, you can and do your upgrade. The system automatically takes you to the $500, which is the gold level. At that point too, you help, this is teamwork in play because in this cooperative, we love helping ourselves to grow. We grow by lifting each other up. We cannot run and leave our, our friends. That's why this cooperative is a sweet one because it's about loving your neighbor, loving your friends, pulling them up with you and moving forward. So here, when you get to the $500 package, which is the gold level, you also help your people to grow and meet you. Because as your people under you at the $100 are coming, they grow to meet up with you. They come to that same platform. Two persons come under you, you're growing. Others come under them, that's their two come under them to on the $500 package. And they keep growing to the gold level. Then you, when your third level is complete, you get your $800, $500 from eight giftings. Eight giftings, which is a total of 4,000, if I'm right. Sorry, yeah. oh, sorry, I'm wrong. Am I well, right? Yeah. yeah yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, which is 4,000. Yes, yes, 4,000. Yeah. I'm very correct. It's 4,000. So when you get your 4,000, you now go up to the next level, which is the diamond level. That is for the big fish. Now you are qualified to be in the big, in the big river, the ocean, where the shark, you grab the shark by its tail. You know, it is sweet when you are doing something or you belong to a cooperative and you're able to smile home with something. You liberate yourself financially. You see yourself being free of bring uh, 2,000 naira to buy something and you're scratching your pocket looking for where to get 2,000 naira from. You know, at this point, you are now financially liberated. Because at that level, you also work for those under you, those that were under you on that $500 package, which is the gold package. You work for them to, to join you at that level. So as each of them keep migrating, they join you at the uh, gold uh, diamond level, which is the 2005 uh, level. As they keep coming, eight persons at a point is going to come to when it's your, your third level. Eight persons are going to give to you. And when you calculate it, you will see that it's something awesome. Who would not like to go home $20,000? $20,000 is a very big money. With the value of Naira we have here in Nigeria, I don't know about those in Ghana and those in South Africa, but in Nigeria here, $20,000 with the exchange rate we have now, you're talking about millions of Naira. And this is something you can use to change your economy. Even your generation, your kindred people will be greeting you. They will even look for you to give you chief dance. If I'm not, if, I, if I'm wrong, ambassador, I hope you're on the same track. You know what I'm talking about. With $20,000, there's nobody that would not want to take chief dancing from where I come from. From this state here, they will give us chief dancing. Adaji or Amma, you see the name flying. Yes, yes, I'm telling the truth. So with that is a big money. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Oh. yes, yes, I'm saying I'm saying the truth. So I am going to be your main body one. <laughs> that's that's wonderful. So as your people under your two thousand five people for me, they too will keep going. Then when you get to that your twenty thousand, why this is very sweet is once you get to that uh, diamond level, you can come in again and second and start from the hundred dollars. You go down and start all over again. So that mm -hmm. means the money keeps coming. The gifting, in fact, the, this is just financial stability for me. Mm -hmm. I tell my people, you have liberated yourself financially, but be, by being a part of the Doros Flourish, it's a financial liberation. 
So anyone that is listening to us, that is watching us, should that not only uh, work, you should jump and join us because this is a very sweet one. Just with hundred dollars and you are good to go. In Naira here, hundred dollars is just forty-seven thousand. It's not even enough to to buy one or two things around the corner. You need to sow a seed that is going to turn your life around and that of your family. Thank you very much. Wow. I don't have for you. All right, before we come to Mr. Deyeye, I want to chip in something. You know, most beautiful, most beautiful. You know, while you are, um, while you are restarting back to the $100, the system is also creating another account for you. And the, the, yeah, the okay. sweetest part of it is that you are not looking for another two to join you. No. It is yeah. still those two people that have been following you from mm -hmm. your silver to diamond that will still migrate with you. You know, because the mm -hmm. system will create another account for you mm -hmm. with $1,000. Yeah, and, exactly. and at the same time, you're receiving gifts from your $100 you are also receiving gifts from your one thousand dollars you know we may not talk about you know how much is the one thousand dollars you know how much you receive from there today you know we'll reserve that for another day thank you so much madam chica honestly thank you. I, I didn't know that you're an expert like this <laughs> <laughs> all right thank mr Ade, yeah, 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 yeah. Mr. Adeyeye is our, is it uh, Mr. Bello? Is, but where, which side is he controlling? Is he on the or the south? What do you call it? Is it the west west or the southwest? No, nah, I don't know. So Mr. Bello is, my Odo, is, my, is my Odo leader. Okay. Mr. Adeyeye is our Ondo leader. He's here. And wow. they, I, I don't know if he knows. I said I served wow. in, I served in a Kare, Kare Akoko in a kitty. Uh, uh, hey. I, I went for my youth <laughs> Then I, I taught in Unity Secondary School, Akure. That was wow. where I did my best. So you can see, I'm still going to give back to that community don't worry we are coming to our charity donation is coming to akure kare uh, ondo very soon okay so mr daya i want to hear from you going by the one that is there for me to go there is it, is it recession you call it now not only in nigeria i know that in africa this recession is everywhere going by what is happening in let, let's use nigeria for instance you know the economy is terrible. It's terrible. Now, Mr. Adeyeye, $100 might be too big for some people, you know, joining our corporate. With your own initiative, let's say somebody wants to join uh, the corporate. And he or she doesn't have that $100. Can you tell us how the person can join you and still benefit from what you're doing? You know, let's say she has $50 and he has $50 and uh, he cannot afford $100. How can you help somebody? Just tell us how you can help somebody join your cooperative. Let's hear you. Ah, this network wants to mess this guy up. I reject every single network. I reject. Okay. It's about to rain here. Okay, it's about to rain where you are. Mrs. Yes, Adeye, absolutely. You see, two of them are always working hand in hand. Mr. Adeye, Mrs. Adeye. In fact, if you don't see this one, you are okay with this one. Two of them are twins. They work together. So, Mr. Adeye, if your network is bad, please let Mrs. Adeye join us immediately so that you can. Because this question, you cannot escape it. You must tell us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
I think the wife is joining us because two of them are always together. Wow. All right. Um, his, his, his network is very bad. Once we can hear what he's saying, what, once we can hear what he's, he's saying, we we'll allow him. You know, we we'll allow him to to answer the question because that question is for him. Why he is coming up? I would like to. I like to talk about something. You know. Um, our our, nature, our Anambra leader is, is not here. You know, there is there is a, there is a cooperative in Anambra that uh, want to join us. They are, all of them want to join our cooperative. You know, and they they suggested something. I would like the leaders here to debate on what they have suggested. You know, our cooperative is peer to peer. When you come in, the system will alert you to give to somebody. So we do not keep members' money. We don't keep funds, you know? We don't keep people's funds. The only fund we have to distribute, yeah. the only fund we, we have to distribute is the upgrade gift, you know? Once you upgrade, we help to redistribute the upgrade gifts. But members' fund, we don't keep it. Let us see. Uh, one of the cooperatives in Anambra, you know, she she told us that when you tell people that uh, you have to come in, bring your tool, you know, people people can easily do that without you telling them to. Like Madam Chica said, if you if you do your hair in a nice salon, you just recommend. People don't want to. They don't want to hear that <laughs> they must bring their two. They don't want to hear that. Meanwhile, they do it, they do it on their own without knowing. So now this lady said, in all the places we have offices, right now we have offices in at least up to 10 places, up to 10 states in Nigeria. Then in Ghana, we have two. We are coming up. We want to have offices in all all states in Nigeria, all the regions in Ghana and in South Africa, at least these three countries globally registered. So now the woman suggested something which I want us to talk about. She said, in each of these offices, we should just do an advert and allow people to come with their registration, that is their gifting uh, fund, okay? Once they come, the person in charge in that office will register them and the system will, of course, prompt them to gift. So they will send the money. They will send their gifts to the person in charge of that office, you know, which is we, we have to know who is in charge of that office so that the person does not go away with people's funds. You understand? So he said, once you come to that office, you register. The officials will register you. We put your details in the system, you know, and of course you will have your username and password. And, you know, you at least you'll be able to be checking your system. Then if another person also come to that office to register, the officials will register whoever have come under the first person that comes. So it's going to be like, First come, first serve them. When you do your announcements, people come and register. People will troop in more to register like that, okay? Now, once somebody's flower fills, the person receives a lot, you know, to receive gifts. The person receives a lot to receive gifts. Whether the person introduced two people or not two people, you know, uh, we, we shouldn't look at that. We should just tell them to come to the office and register. And when you tell them to come to the office and register, once they register, they will not put the officials under pressure for their gifting because they are not actually uh, bringing their two. They just register and go home. Now, when you register and go home, it is the official 
that will let you know when your flower is free. You will be checking your board too from your home. You'll be logging into your account. Once your flower is free, you will see it. Once you, it's time for you to receive your gift, you will see it, you know? So he, she said, that way, people will troop in faster to register with us than telling them, okay, you have registered, go and get it. So she said, it is the officials in that office that will, uh, um, that will help to register people that comes in and she, she, he or she will write down the names of those that have registered before. That is when you come in, you will be given like a tally number. You are number one, you are number two, you are number three, just like that, okay? So that you, will, you know your tally number. Your tally number will be reported, you, you, you will be sent to head office. So head office knows who came first in that state or in that region and who is supposed to receive so that everything will be transparent and all that. So after the suggestion, I said, okay, I will talk to the leaders about this so that we can look at it together critically, analyze it because we don't want anybody coming tomorrow and say, okay, I sent my give my money to you, I need it back. There is no reform. In that, in that form, we will tell you no reform. You can only get your gift when your flower fails. You know, so this is a suggestion and I'm bringing it open to the house. I want each and every one of us to contribute towards it, you know. But before the contribution, let's see if Mr. Deyeye can respond to our question. Please bear in mind that we still have this talk about. Mr. Deyeye, are you ready for us now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Thank you, you very now. much. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Good evening Mr. Deye. Thank you very much. Madam, well done. Well done, sir. Nice, <laughs> nice, nice well done, on note today. Oh, no day oh, we day. All right. <laughs> the economy will bite us harder. Don't worry. We are building our economy here. We are on half salary here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we understand. Very soon now, you you in fact, let me know if we see. Yeah. I used to tell our people that this is the this is this is the the, the right time to key into this uh, cooperative. People should try as much as possible, even if they will borrow the money to key in. This is the right time to do that. That's what we've been advocating to our people. Well, they are not uh, but uh, some of them are not even yielding not also. But even then, we won't stop telling them the right thing. But we are having a challenge here. When the, during the period of the upgrading of the platform, within that period of three, four weeks or so, our people got discouraged anyway. And uh, many who didn't want to register immediately after the seminar. After the seminar. Uh, they couldn't that we couldn't register them. They withdrew. By the time we went back to them, they were it was another story entirely. I think I made you to know that it was another story entirely. But even then, we are not giving up. We have determined to keep on, keep fighting on. And our challenges, like we told you, that uh, is getting an office here where people can always meet us. And uh, we are we are hoping that you live up to your promise anyway. Like the question was trying to say that how we can help our people in this uh, new platform with $100. Yes, the moment the directive came up or the new policy came up concerning $1,000 entry point, we told them that uh, even if one person cannot afford that hundred dollars. Two people can come together. Even they are coming together, even make it easier. Instead of one person, instead of one person looking for two people now, it's now two people looking for two people. So even if they are able to get it one one, good for them. And then this one will be registered under one of them. The two of them will agree who is to be registered first. Then these two person that came from one one person will now be registered under one person. And then the whatever comes 
from there, from there. We told them that the admin would be, if they want, the admin will be in charge of the account, in charge of the gift, because people cannot be trusted. If we put it in charge of one person, who knows? The other person will be <laughs> To be become the story again, the admin will be in charge, and once the gift is uh, complete, we split it for the two of them. Some of them have agreed, and uh, we are working on that. So that is the challenge that we have here, and we are still trying to design strategies like printing fly flyers and organizing another seminar. Again, anytime from now, where we can encourage them, encourage our people that even if even even if we are in the recession, even more in those states, it is still the right time for them to key in. But letting them know that the new system is even easier and better than what it was. You come in with a hundred dollars, get eight hundred dollars, and immediately. Key into five hundred dollars, where you are going to get one point eight million. What's difficult in that? So, and if the two of them pair up, it's easier for them to do that. And immediately, the next stage is uh, from one point eight million naira to twenty. I mean, to nine point four million. That's twenty dollars, twenty thousand dollars to nine point four million dollars. So, most of them are reasoning along with us in this uh, along that line. But we can still not do much more, not until we get our office and then run around some major cities, letting them know that this thing is existing. We are not, we are no longer after the, the, the members there the who are discouraged. Members. Our target is now the new people who have not even heard about it. New people we want to go out, rich people, various places in the town, in the cities. Then leaving those who are who seem to be discouraged somewhere. By the time they see it flourishing, they will come back. Nobody will tell them to come back. When they see it happening, when they when, yes, when they see it happening, those who have refused to give the gift, and those who have refused to look for it. Exactly. When we even get people coming in, we put people under them. And then they, they, yeah. Mr. Day, honestly, you have talked about you see. Um, we try to get so many offices at the same time. So that's really uh, affected, uh, like I told you. So I'm yeah. giving you my word for next month. Just yeah. make sure that Mr. Billy is on it. Okay? So, because I also want you to get that office. <laughs> with what, with the strategy we want to use now, every state should have an office. So that people, Good. even if they have to travel from Ikiti to Akure, doesn't matter now. As far as you have an office, of course. they can go to. Because well, yeah. uh, Ikiti is very close to us. If we go around Ikiti and they ask us, where can we meet you people? Even if we don't have office in Ikiti, sure, they can come down to Akure here. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yes, they can come down to Akure here. Now and we are even office in very soon. Yeah. Um, Thank month, you very much. Yeah, if we can get in Ghana two offices, is it an under that we cannot? We are just trying to make sure that we don't get so many offices at the same time. It's one step at a time, one step at a time. We will have yeah. offices in where all our, especially our active leaders are. You know, once you're an active leader, you're a particular state, we can encourage you by by that. So now don't worry about that. You know, we actually upgraded to a new and beautiful system. The old one gave us some challenges. So we, we needed to migrate to a new system. So I don't blame some people that got discouraged because, you know, so many com companies online, <laughs> when they want to phase away, they will start updating. <laughs> <laughs> from mm, all day, you will not see them again. So they think yes. we are one of no, we are not like that. Don't worry, they'll you know that some them. of them used to say one of them will come back. Don't worry, they will all come back. I, I know they will come back. Oh yeah. when we put people them. when we, after this publicity and seminar, when we put people under them and when they yes. say yes. come back. <laughs> Yes, that, you, you are not saying that, 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 that
They will be wondering yes. where the art is coming where from. Where it is coming from. Yes. And now they will be begging to come back. Mm -hmm. See, um, uh, Madam Scholar, please, you must show your face here before you talk. I am in charge. You have started to show your face. You have started to show your face again. You will not talk. I started to show your face. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we are going to. Who is that, Samaria? I know that one is Mr. Delo. I want to talk. Let me be Let her know that I'm in charge of this place now. She must show her face before she talks. So let's say Mr. Bello has shown her his face. So it's the network that I, you, you have beautiful network. Show your face. Madam Scholar, our Vice President. Face, I'm still here. It's not because of you. You know, if you see me, I will not show. I've muted her again. Hey, I'm in charge. 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 i am the question is, I don't think I keep I don't think I keep it. Be quiet. Your nature is not I don't think I don't want to do it. I don't to do Anyway, uh, my great leaders, thank you all for coming on board. Thank you for all that you have said and the promoting of our beautiful community. I was saying it last week. I said, Anyone that is in this place, they will not know what they are. They will not know how beautiful and how lucky, whosoever that invite them, they should always go to tell the person, thank you, because they don't know what the person have given to them. Victoria's Flourish International. Most of us might be thinking, oh, is it because, of, because it's her name? That's why it's like that. No. That name did not just come like that. That name is special. That Victoria's Florence, don't take it that it is Madame Victoria. Her name, now let me spell it out. Her name is Madame Victoria. Our cooperative is Victoria's Flourish. You know, when you go to war, you pray for victory. And when you get that victory and you come back home, what do you do? You now start building up yourself again. How are you going? To, you have to build up yourself to be flourish. And I know most of us know the meaning of flourish. When you when you see yourself flourishing, progressing, that means all the victory is yours. So after victorious, the next thing is for to flourish. So if you invite anybody here that have come, said, like let me give you an example. Since I've been in this very place, I know how many people have helped. I know how many people I, whom I don't even know from Adams. There was a day a lady called and she was, I never knew that she was on her way to suicide. I just said, I just saw her, I just called her. I said, Madam, I said, okay, what is your problem? She told me. She was in the 500. I said, okay, what do you want? She said, Madam, I want to end it up. My father is in, is, uh, is in the hospital. Her mother just got a stroke and he, she is the only one. I just okay, you know what? You need money right now. I say yes. I say okay, let me do this. But can you manage $50 accounts? She said, I will try, please. I said, okay. I gave her one of my $50 accounts. After one week, she called me that she was just praying. Every day this lady prayed for me. Say, Madam, do you know what? I've settled all my debts. I collected all my $850. She even upgraded before me. She upgraded to 150 before me. She was asked, she said, Mother, you saved two lives, but you don't know. Not me, but it's God. And with the help of this uh, uh, precious cooperative, how many am I going to say? One, two, three, or what? Whom I don't even know. At, even if I see them on the way, I wouldn't recognize them. It's not me, it's God. And God used this very cooperative to bring this out. Are we talking about the charity we have been doing to the elderly? The last one they did in my village was like, what is it? Where did this come from at this half time? 
most especially at that, at that very pandemic time, to feed people, old women, and some of them are even blind. They don't even have anything. So please tell these people to come in. We are not a scammer. Call me a scammer, I'll ask you three questions. Scammers, do, can you see them on Zoom meeting? Scammers, are they on Telegram? Scammers, do they have WhatsApp chat? No. So what makes me a scammer then? Why don't you come into me? If you want to talk to me, you can call any member of this place, any leader, any day. They will come in, they will answer you. That means you, are not, you hear our voice and you see us face to face. You know where we come from. That means we are not a scammer, right? So coming now, we have, we have another strategy. Don't tell them bring to because they, people are always fed up of when you say bring to you bring yourself. Just say, come and register. But we are not guaranteeing when you are going to start any. When you start that's any, what, when you build your flower that's food. What we want to discuss right now because we, we the leadership, have to put our heads together and really Never know now. if Good. we are to implement this strategy. You know, and I will start with Mr. Bello on this. Mr. Bello. Yeah. This strategy of come and register, don't worry about your two. Your two. What do you say about it? You know, come and because register. Let me, let me, let me, let me come in. Starting like that, Mr. Bello, let me, let me elaborate a bit. We are in one, you see, now be first come first out. Let's assume we have the flourish management. Anyone that come will go under flourish management as the, as the head. Another two will go as the head. The next one that come will go as the head. The other one will come out. That is how we start building it up. So this three two and not two might, will not come up again because we are now going to be in one chain. Both Lagos, Abuja, Ghana, everywhere will be in one chain. They will be moving. That means these people will be receiving money every month. It's just as a monthly payment for them. Okay, which just means one. for you, this strategy is beautiful. We should adopt it. Okay, we should so adopt it. it is. Yeah. All right, beautiful. Uh, Madam Scholar said we should adopt the strategy. Ambassador, what do you say? Uh, about this strategy, adopting the knowing the Nigerian or African mentality, you know, they will say, Ah, they say everybody should just register and uh, they will feed your flower for you. So, what do you say about this strategy so that um, people will not come? And I, I don't like harassment. Me, when you harass me, I block you. That is my own. So I don't like harassment and I don't want to block anybody. So if this strategy is fine, let's discuss it now. If it's not fine, let's say no. We cannot adopt this strategy because of African mentality. They will not understand that you have to wait in your flower field. And if they will understand, fine. We, we go ahead. Yes, uh, for me, hello everybody, I think everybody can hear me. Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, for me, uh, like I always said, I am one million ahead of my clients, one million miles. Um, why, why do I say one million miles? For us in Port Harcourt, we have already adopted this strategy before we are even discussing it here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, because uh, basically, uh, Madam Vivian, myself, and Mr. Uh, Mike, we've discussed these strategies, and we have already gone far, far, far above that in trying to use this to solve our own problem that are coming here. And that is why most of the time, it seems as if I'm a little bit slow when I'm doing things, because I take a very good closer look of the society to make sure you understand the kind of people you are dealing with. And the people we are dealing with here, I can tell you, this is where the gold mine is for networking in the whole of Nigeria, apart from Lagos. Uh, because the people have the money, but what they don't have is the patience. And because of what? Because of lack of trust.
will build trust, which of course we already have as a result of personality and all of that. So this will not be a problem for us because people don't want to hear next, let alone walk here in Port Harcourt, in River State, because of the kind of experience they've had over the years. So basically, in order to avert that, we cannot stop. When the Victoria Flourish came, we just look at it that this will be a better strategy. In fact, we, when we discussed it, we said, this is a better way for us to go. What we will just do is that we will only tell people that there is terms and conditions. At this point, there is terms and conditions. And what is the terms and conditions? You come and register, but we will work for you. When we work for you and your bucket is full, which we call flower here in Victoria's Flourish, then you will just receive. And when they get a sudden alert and they find out that, oh, I put my money there in Victoria's Flourish at uh, Stadium Road, and uh, now I got an alert two, three weeks later, they would not be able to say, wow, I better come, make we go. Come go register there. Me, I don't get my own. They will be the one that will advertise for themselves and they will come. The only thing that we will need to do is to know how our back office flowers are doing. We can now tell you that since it's a first come first serve, you are number 157. But do not worry, we are having seminars, workshops every day, which of course will be able to register people and begin to put people under you and your flower will be moving forward quickly and you can upgrade and get your gifting. So this, of course, we have already mapped that out. And that, of course, is what we are doing right now. So we are 100, 150% in support of that idea because it will definitely make Victoria flourish to move faster as they are planning. Hello. Hello. Okay, okay. Yeah, we are with you. I was muted, sorry. Yes, um, Ambassador has said it all. You know, when this idea was brought to me, I was like, no, I don't want anybody to come and harass any leader or flourish cooperative, you know, because once you have told, once you said they should send their money and you work for them, if uh, if their flower is not filled on time, they will, I don't want anybody going to any of our offices to harass anybody. Thank God we have our legal team. So now, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ambassador said they have adopted that system. Um, now in Onicha, they are adopting that system. But Accord has adopted, you know. So we want to find out if there is any disadvantage with that system. So I think um, let's go back to um, Mr. Adeyeye. Mr. Adeyeye. Sorry, please. Before Mr. Adeyeye come up. Like what I what I would have suggested when we start it, we now give anyone that comes, we go by numbers. Everybody we have on serial numbers. Yeah, absolutely. Let's, let's just absolutely. Yes. Okay. We, of course. Yeah, we'll so that you know, numbers. just like your ID, your number will be your ID. Yes. Absolutely. We we'll go by numbers, just like well, and mm -hmm. the numbers will be coordinated by the leader of that, the, the state coordinator, okay, of that particular state or team, the person will coordinate it and make sure that everybody is placed according to his. No, what, how, since you are going to be in one chain, right? Let's assume we have flourish cooperative one, two, three, four. We start from there. So any any state that wants the number can now come from the headquarter, which is by the president and the up, top leaders, our three top leaders. Please, what's the next number? You give them, okay, you take from number 10 to 20, you take from 20 to 30, you take from 30 to 40. I'm just suggesting. So that you I, don't know how that, I don't know how that can work because people that are working in, a, in different states, you know, we not consult uh, other states. Mm. Remember, we have different countries. 
Let's talk about if there is any. Let's talk about we we get a strategy. Sadeye, please. Do you think there is any disadvantage with this um with this strategy? Because we don't want to be in any fix. We don't want the our name is most yeah. important to us. So we don't want anybody come to you in on door and say ah. I sent my <laughs> money to you and up to now my flower is not, you know, Africans. So if there's any disadvantage, let's talk about it now before we start the mention. Well, if me, I can come in. Okay. Yes, one of the disadvantage is going to be a sort of queue, which of course people, are coming with a lot of desperate situation and they have heard how their brother or sister got uh, some kind of payment of gifting, mm -hmm. which eventually they never care to ask when the, the guy eventually registered. They will want to come with a quick amount of money and say, I want to quickly get in so that I can get my own gifting as well. So patient is going to be one of the shortcomings which we are going to encounter. And of course, that is why I said, if we are going to start this idea, we must start by telling the people the sincere truth of the situation of things. Your number is number 1001. Are you ready to go in and have patient for another four weeks, 10 weeks and all of that so that eventually we, you, you, will, you will be vindicated if tomorrow he comes back and all of that. Then secondly, it must clearly be said that there is no refund. If you have charged, just like I, we, we do, we don't give any refund in our own cooperative. So there's no refund in cooperative. Uh, and, and that is the thing. Then thirdly, people will not want things to be like uh, hidden, hidden charges or hidden condition like that of the bank. You will not allow them to come to you first before you will let them know what the terms and condition, just like you go to bank, bank will say, ah, they just give a new regulation that you should bring national ID card instead of driver's license before you can withdraw your money, which of course is frustrating and uh, uh, it, it makes customers to run away from the bank. So if in our own case, we have a lay down rules and terms of condition when people want to join, if we want to adopt this system, then we must be able to let them know right from outside. I want to let you know something. This is the same thing that has kept me sitting down where I am right now, because I have had a lot of problems consigning people coming back and say, oh, we want to get our money back. I told them to come. You went through the terms and condition and we eventually explained them to you. So if this is the situation, we can help you through other means, but not for you to come and tell us that we should refund your money back. So if we can be sincere, though it might be a little bit very, very bitter, for us to tell the people that this is the terms and condition that will help us do or for you to join Victorious Flourish and get the result you'd so desire, then we have to tell them the bitter truth so that they can eventually uh, make their decision. And if the decision is positive, we register them. If the decision is negative, we wish them well and say all the best. Au revoir. <laughs> All right, sir. So, uh, okay, I I got something from what you have just said. All right, so let's also hear from. I know Ghana people have been implementing this, so that's why I'm mm -hmm. not going to Ghana, and it's been working for mm -hmm. them. It's been mm -hmm. working for them. Now, Ghana is different from Nigerians. Honestly, <laughs> where they see money is different from and have patience and as long as you're going to receive your gifts, you know, Absolutely. Man, 
Once is that four weeks, you don't give Nigeria man that. Hey, you come with police. Now, suppose, suppose. So, what about that? Can we hear you? I just want to hear another disadvantage so that we can know. Yes. Yeah, go ahead, sir. We were cut off by the network, so I never heard. Okay, we are talking about uh, every uh, we want everybody to come in different states where we are going to have everybody has offices. So people are coming to your office to register. Once let's say once you register, okay. you are number one. The next person is number two. You just give them numbers, those that come in. So it yes. is first come, first serve. You know, you must give them their number as their registry. You must, you must, you must make sure that the 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 last person, you have the last person's number. So the next person that comes in follows that uh, numbering. Okay. And this numbering also, our uh, our yeah. leader in Nigeria, we have uh, Hello. Yeah, I think her network is bad. Yeah, what she's trying to say is that when you start the numbering, you have to get the last person's number so that it can tally with other uh, other people in Nigeria. You understand? But I would suggest with what she said, when we want to start, we let everybody know because we have to start with the people that are done already. You know, we have some people among us already. Then we start from there. Then wherever we end, we now have states to start. We have to get another meeting and then get a strategy how the number can connote so that it should not be double numbers for each person. Mr. Day, you can go on and say what you want to say since she is not back. Mr. Day, I don't.